Oh my God, what have I done? Here, I'm the one that got lamped. Yes, but Justin is my husband. Bang, bang, you're dead. I've had enough. I've had it twain now. Ray, when we finish mending the house, can we go and stay at Wendy's? No, Ken. Anyway, after this, we have to feed the sheep without a tractor, cos I got pongoed and crashed it. Remember, Dr Sunnyside? Ooh, I know where we can get a tractor. Ken! How many times have I got to tell you? You can't buy tractors at Topshop. Ah. Ooh, I've just thought of somewhere else. Best of luck, Kenny. One last nail. One delicious Chrissy Turlington of a last nail. Yes! My lovely ass is mine again! Oh, burgers! Burgers! Lovely, jubbly burgers! I'm gonna fry them a buggery and lard with a bucket full of bastard chips! Oh, and booze! Booze! For what I'm about to receive, may the Lord make me truly plastered. No. It was the falling over water that smashed up my house and stranded me in that insane nunnery. Yeah, yeah, I feel better already. This is the new me. No more booze. But twice as many fail. <laughs> Bloody hell's this. Ah, Ken, you're looking at me, which is rather disconcerting, but there we are, never mind. I want a word with you, man to man. Oh, do you? Well, uh, would you like a drink first? A Vimto, perhaps? Vimto, yeah. <laughs> Not on the... <laughs> Louis cans. Just tell me what you want, will you? What do I want? <sighs> One of them bowler hats with the sharp edges that the man in the film threw at 007. Well, that might present one or two thorny problems, Ken. Wasn't anything to do with a weasel, was it? Hey, You meant Ray, didn't you? Shit. Don't you be rude about my brother. <laughs> no, really, really, no. What oh, awfully large fists you have, Ken. No, just what was it you wanted, hmm? Uh Take your time. Uh... <laughs> A tractor. That's it. I, I fixed up the house. I'm off now. Bye bye. But it's twenty past ten. You may just stay here for another. No. Sorry. No, thank you, Justo. It's really. I'd, I'd rather be in my own abode this evening. Well, let's have a drink together to toast your new home, eh? No booze for me. I've given it the boot. It was doing me in. Oh well, that's marvellous. Um. Well, how about a soft drink, me? Yeah, all right. I, I hear tonic water is rather refreshing, Wens. Here, bruv, I fixed up the house. We're having a drink to celebrate. Oh, lovely. I'll get him. Look, mate, um, sorry about the old uppercut. No, no. In fact, I'd like to thank you both for opening my eyes. I I'm not exactly a new man, but I'm trying my best. A woman should be appreciated, body and soul. And I've made a start on appreciating the soul. Good. You see... Yeah, this is all right. Makes you realise you don't need the booze. Ray, look out the window. It's a surprise. 
this a tractor? Ken, you got me a tractor. I borrowed it from Mr. Letchworth. Ken, you got me a tractor? Oh, oh, come here. Ken, you're a diamond. I feel fantastic. I really do. Well, that's what being high on life's like, Ray. Well, it's the life for me, the purer life. I'm going to take the tonic, stop me getting tempted, drive home in me lovely new tractor from me brother Ken, get me head down, wake up refreshed, start me new life. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. He really does seem like a changed man. Yeah, especially after I gave him his favourite drink. <laughs> oh, the tonic water, yes. No, this is what he always celebrates with. Oh, shit! <laughs> I think we might be too late. <coughs> oh, no! Hell are you! <laughs> I can't see the plunge tip! <laughs> Bulldozing his way onto BBC Two next, Rab C. Nesbitt.